Hey everybody, we're back here today with another Dokkan Battle video. So, uh, today we're just going to be doing Metal Cooler ZZA. And, yeah, this is the team we're going to be running. We're just going to do a lot of, uh, yeah, just a lot of mix, like, mix match of people because we don't have all the tech units. I mean, I wasn't able to pull the, the Carnival Goku, so I don't have him as a leader. But, Vegeta is the other leader. For a powerful comeback so we can still do the uh the easy yeah, which shouldn't be too bad and i mean especially because carnival goku just on his own can do a lot of work okay yeah. link the links look pretty good there and you know we have uh ultimate gohan on the team which i believe in my last video was like yeah in my last video i said he was one of my favorite units he's my favorite unit and like I said before, uh, I just can't wait for him to get an easy A to get that 170 lead. When that will happen, probably a long time away from it. But I'm excited to see that happen. Because it'd be really good. Just to have that kind of a... Just to have that kind of leader, and especially just with all those skills. But, you know, this easy A lets me kind of, uh, you know, take him off the shelf, you know. Just because a lot of the events today don't really allow hybrid saiyans to that degree to do a lot i mean you can uh, you know you'd be able to do like ago broly's red zone with hybrid saiyans but without a 200 percent lead it's uh it's a little difficult for sure but you know it'd be good to to see it especially because a lot of the hybrid saiyans they're able to stack i mean you have ultimate gohan AGL Kid Gohan uh, They they do quite well in there And I mean the STR Ultimate Gohan He's okay He's alright He has guard but it's a I believe it's a high chance to guard It's a 170 lead but The day that we get that 200% leader it, It'll be crazy I mean hey you know you never know maybe for the eight year anniversary or, or the seven year anniversary or not seven year ah the next worldwide celebration or whatever the case may be. But I'm excited to see where the, the game goes. Okay, okay, five point nine. Oh okay, we're getting super here. Double digits. Yeah, double digits, okay, sixty six is not bad. But I, I especially like Carnival who although I wasn't able to pull him, but just the fact that he stacks on his 18 key, he stacks defense, is immensely great. And if you're trying to do Broly, you get him up to... I mean, I mean, RNG isn't always everybody's friend, so... Maybe you can only pull one copy. In my case, I wasn't able to pull any. But, you know, you can get him, like, 79%. Which, some people will be able to do. But 79% is pretty much the... The kind of good point of it all. You get all of the additionals, your crits, your dodge. Just from 79%. The the last two dupe paths, they're good. It's nice for the rainbow, but it doesn't change their stats so immensely that it's just so far and away above everything else. So 79% is a good kind of middle ground for it all. You can unlock most of their passives. And yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But don't get me wrong, the rainbow looks great on units. Uh, anyways. So Metal Cool is easy, is pretty good, but... The fact that he doesn't do defense on his supers is quite interesting. Because he only raises attack on his, on his super. So that's quite difficult in harder events. Because without that defensive, uh, defensive buff just right out the gate... It's uh, might be a little more difficult to tank. I mean, you can put him as a second slot unit, of course. And then if you run him with STR Cooler, he'd be good. But, you know, this is all before we even see uh, STR Transforming Cooler's EZA. I think the information comes out tomorrow or later tonight, I believe. So we'll have to see what that looks like. And, you know, I, I just hope that he gets... I feel like his uh, super attack's probably going to be... A uh, attack and defensive, 
defensive uh, attack and defensive buff for one turn. I think we just attack and defense for one turn, and then I just hope that they give a lot more to his passive because he really needs it to be honest. Because you know, the the trunks easy a was weak to terrifying conquerors, but no, I'm sorry, space traveling warriors. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. I believe it was Space Traveling Wars and Cooler's on there, but the only bad part was that Cooler was so squishy for most of the part that you couldn't really bring him on the team. I mean, it's possible, but it was it was for sure difficult. It's for sure difficult because he'd have to either be hitting maybe in like the second slot if there weren't a lot of attacks, or maybe like the final hit. But, I mean, I don't know. There are a lot of units to use in that easy as well. But, anyways, this this Metal Cooler isn't bad. He has a... Let me look up the details here. So, he has a... a attack and defense buff of 150%. And he has a key plus 2. And then, he gets a additional attack and defense... 20% with each attack received up to 100%, which isn't horrible. I mean, he gets key if uh, he gets key and then a 20% chance for a critical hit when there's a super class enemy. And I mean, a lot of the events that you're, that you're gonna go into, and I mean, especially if you're doing like Super Battle Road at Extreme, like let's say you're doing just you know, Extreme AGL Super Battle Road, then a lot of the or characters, I believe all of them, are super class. So just for that do fact, 20% crit isn't bad. And I mean, you can especially build that around him. You can put more into additional. You might be able to do maybe 12 additional, 11 crit, 3 dodge. And I know a lot of people don't do the dodge. I When I started the game, I was, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, dodge is cool. And... But I followed a lot of, like, YouTubers' uh, guides to it. Like, I used to do, um... I, my first, I believe, Rainbow Unit. My first Rainbow LR Unit was, like, the LR AGL Androids, the Friend Unit, the Friend Point System Unit. And that was, like, my first LR, and I was like, oh my god, it was exciting. And, uh... I got him... I got them, like... 15 additional 11 crit. And then I learned about the rest of the potential system. And I was like, I want all of my units to have dodge. So now, I'll, I'll, at bare minimum, I'll do 3 dodge. If the unit is more, you know, squishy in a sense. And they can take a lot of damage. I'll put more dodge in, depending. Yeah, especially if it's in the passive. Why not just give them a higher chance? I mean, if their whole point is just to dodge, then... I don't mind doing it at all, just because of the fact that if you're going into a really hard event, they can just do that job. They don't really have to be attacking. I mean, unless they're stacking, it might be good to give them more additional. But just in the overall sense, it'd be quite nice. I feel like it just works best that way. But uh, maybe that's just me. I don't know. Okay, 2.2. .2, okay. Oh, no additional. Okay. I thought Vegeta might additional. All right, I think we just yeah, I think we just clear right here. But yeah, Cooler's easy A is, is is pretty good. It's pretty good. And then the transforming conditions. I mean, you can run him on the giant form, I believe. I believe he's in the yeah. Okay, yeah, he is in the giant form category. So for that easy A, he's quite good. But you know, it's not bad. And uh, just to finish off his passive, he gets 20% critical chance when there's a pure Saiyan's category enemy. And then at the end of each turn when he's attacked, he recovers 10% HP, which is pretty good. And I mean, especially if you're going to pair him with his uh, physical LR counterpart. I mean, because all the metal coolers kind of go together now. That'd be pretty good because metal cooler as well does get uh, heals on his passive.
Let's check out a metal cooler. So in the same way, the physical uh, LR metal cooler does get 10% HP at the start of every turn, which is pretty good. If, but only if HP is 50% or less. So again, situational, but the healing can be quite good. I mean, if you're 50% or below, and both of the metal coolers are on the team, Boom. Physical Metal Cooler will heal you up 10%. And then AGL Metal Cooler, at the end of the turn, will heal you another 10 So, I mean, that's pretty good. All in all, that's pretty good. And then uh, Physical Metal Cooler also recovers an additional 10% HP. He also gets Key Plus 2 in Attack and Defense 130%, which is pretty good. But I think, and then, you know, the summoning video is going to come up soon. I'm just trying to get uh, other videos out of the way. I'm trying to do all the other easy A's. I still have a uh, Final Form Cooler to do. And I got the uh, Virtual Ultimate Clash to do. I want to do that video. I actually might do that after the summoning video. Because, hey, if I can pull the, the Goku, Vegeta, and the Cooler, then I can throw them on the teams. But... I still got that uh, that freeze that I do. And especially because you get over 20 stones from the whole ordeal. So, I mean, I think I'll be at 700 stones by the time all is said and done. So, that'll be pretty good. But I'll probably do, like, the last multi or so off camera. Just because it'd be, like, a minute video just to get a uh, one summon done. Unless there's the discount at the end and I can get that. Then it'd be looking two. It could be two. But, you know. But, yeah. This this EZA is not bad. I mean, if you've been playing the game, like, for not that long, it might be a little more difficult because it might be harder to get Vegeta. Hopefully, you pulled him on Cooler's Banner. Uh, but if not, it might be harder to do this EZA. Especially if you didn't get Goku. If you got Goku, it'd be pretty good. You can just l run a lot of the uh, powerful comeback units. And... I think this shows they don't all have to be tech. I just so happen to have a lot of tech. But, you know, I was able to bring Vegeta and both of the UI Gokus. And I think they do pretty well. I mean, all in all. But, you know, I know not everybody's going to have the uh, Goku Vegeta. Like the tech one that fuses into Gogeta. Not everybody's going to have that. I didn't have that for a long time. So, you know, it's... It's all quite different depending on the person, especially on what you have. But uh, I hope RNG treats everybody well and that you can get the uh, the clear on all of his stages. I know, you know, because, hey, 30 stones is 30 stones running through an easy yeah, Especially if you can do all the uh, conditions, then you can get, like, I believe 36 or third, like, in total. I believe, yeah. 30, 36, 35, I forget in total. The, the missions give you extra. I know you can get like, if you clear mission 10 in a, a minute 30, you get one stone. If you clear it in two minutes and 30 seconds, you get two, one stone. And then uh, if you have certain characters on your team when you clear it, you can get two stones. So four stones, I'm sorry. So 34 stones in total, but you know, that's 34 stones closer to a multi, right? And I think that about wraps it up. Yeah, that's it for his easy A. All right, well, the... Oh, I will actually friend that. That's 79% is pretty good. All right, and that's it for the video. Uh, thank you for everybody who tuned in, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.